um, we have to go back to 2019 because 2019 marked the 40th anniversary of the Islamic Revolution. And we conducted another survey uh, in that year before the November protests on the very idea of the Islamic Republic. And over, over 200,000 people actually participated in that online uh, survey. The overwhelming majority would not vote for the idea of an Islamic Republic. But that was just one or two questions. So we were more interested in finding out what people think about religion. So today, uh, Iranians are, uh, you know, their country has a similar internet penetration rate as Italy. Uh, and that is an opportunity that simply did not exist 10 years ago. Most people believe in God. Yeah. Uh, around 80% believe in God. Uh, around 90% say that they are from believing and or practicing families, right? But, and here's the interesting thing, 50% of the total uh, number report losing their religion, right? Becoming less religion in their lifetime. So that is a very important finding. Another very important finding is, of course, the fact that Iran is diverse. Right. You know, if if you believe, would believe the state census, the diagram for Iranian religiosity is just one color. It's just green. It's just one religion, Islam. Right. But if you look at our diagram, you see many different colors. So, you know, when the Islamic Revolution happened, uh, people who assumed that modernity would bring linear secularization were upset. Right. Uh, because they had a certain idea about the West, that the West is the center, uh, you know, the old distinction between West and the rest. It just does not hold in an internet connected world. So that means that in a sense, Iran ha is uh, one country that is, you know, part of a global world. You know, 60% report that they do not pray. Uh, this is very different from a major survey that was conducted before the revolution. Um, so, you know, in, in that time, most people did pray. Uh, you know, in a country that prohibits alcohol, a third say that they regularly drink alcoholic drinks. Um, so you see that, and, and this confirms the view of many sociologists, think about Asif Bayat, who years ago already wrote that, you know, young people in Iran, they don't necessarily, all of them become non-believers. Many of them believe in God. They have a connection to the divine, but they are also seeking diversion. Now, finally, politics, because that's, of course, you know, what a lot of people are interested in, very important. Uh, you know, it's not a surprise. The majority does not believe that religious bodies should uh, be the, uh, you know, responsible for legislation, right? So people are supportive of a constitutional form of secularism, is that that has an impact on what people think uh, religion in public should look like, right? So, for example, if you take the mandatory hijab, which is very important for the Islamic Republic, a majority of people, uh, many of them, by the way, also believers, they don't want a mandatory hijab, right? People use, for example, uh, not just social media, but they produce memes. Uh, memes, you might think is uh, something, you know, funny, but it actually has a huge impact on how people get their ideas about religion, about politics, and that's just one among many uh, digital uh, examples, of course. So these new media uh, are going to change how we think about religion. They're going to change how we think about politics. So it's not just a matter of decreasing something or increasing something. It's also the quality that's changing. You know, it's not just that people become more religious or re less religious, but what they think religion is, it's also changing.